Hello tankers! There is one more holiday weekend left to celebrate the birthday of our game. Check the calendar, go ahead and complete the remaining tasks to get your prizes. And now we would like to share some useful news with you, so here's what we've prepared. Since the start of the tanky birthday celebrations, this problem has become particularly acute. For weeks we had problems with server connection and it was hard to play. But starting from this Wednesday, the problem will no longer exist. This happened right after we announced that the mobile version of the game won't be available for some time. We have had these problems with attacks on the game servers for a year already. Many of you ask what's going on with the protection of the servers. Tanky Online has permanent protection from attacks. However, it is much harder to protect our game than in other projects due to the network protocol we use to connect players to our servers. The protection solution we had has served us well over the past five years, but it no longer covers our needs and doesn't help with the current level of attacks. Over the past year, the power of attacks has dramatically increased throughout the video game industry. Once it happened, we immediately started working on strengthening our protection from attacks. But unlike last year, this time the attackers started reacting to our changes and new solutions. We have fixed some vulnerabilities during the year and significantly improved our protection. Moreover, we also found and tested a solution that is guaranteed to protect us. However, this solution has one disadvantage. It doesn't work with the Android version of the game. Tanky Online is a cross-platform game and we are focused on giving you an opportunity to play it on any device. Thus, we do not find disabling the mobile version permanently as an option. We focused on other protection solutions, and they worked fine till the start of Tanky's birthday. Unfortunately, those other solutions do not let us protect the servers anymore. The attacker has found a way to bypass it, and thus it is hard to play the game since the beginning of June. We thank you for all your patience and your nerves of steel. Despite the very serious level of attacks, you have shown us that you are ready to stay with us and give us enough time to solve the problems. So what are we gonna do? Don't we have any other option but to disable the mobile version of the game now? The plan to work on strengthening the protection was not the only way to solve our difficulties. If the protection is only compatible with the HTML5 version of the game, then we need to convert the mobile version of the game to the HTML engine. We have been working on a new mobile version during this year. In addition to being fully compatible with the browser version, it also has a number of significant improvements. The new mobile version of the game has the same interface as the PC version of the game. The new client can scale to any screen size and resolution. A new method of controls has been developed that lets the players rearrange the controls by placing the buttons anywhere they like on the screen. And of course, Pro Battles. You will find Pro Battles support on the new version, providing the same exact features as the PC version. We've been working on this update for a very long time and wanted to announce the good news to you after testing is over and we are ready to update the old version of the game. We have focused our resources on updating the mobile version of the game as much as possible and now we just ask you to wait a little longer. For us as developers, it'll be easier to maintain and update the application. There will no longer be a situation where we work on one game client while ignoring the other. And of course, the level of protection against DDoS attacks will significantly increase. The only thing left to do on your part is check for the minimum system requirements of the game. They will increase by a bit. We will announce specific data about hardware requirements once the testing is completed and the game is optimized. We're not letting you relax. Last week we gave away 40 million tank coins, and next Monday we'll be launching the eSports Tanky Fund. First of all, this tanky fund is held in support of the teams participating in the Summer Major. The Legends stage is in full swing, where 8 of the highest ranked teams from Challengers stage will face the 8 highest ranked teams based on total rating points. On June 24th, we will find out the names of the 8 strongest teams who have moved on to the last stage. And on July 11th, we will know the teams who get to share the prize pool of 380,000 rubles, which is about 4,200 euro. To support the teams, 10% of the tanky fund will be given to them. And for you, we've once again prepared many levels of rewards. This time, it's 50 levels. You will notice that they're very diverse this time. From mono paints and GT skins, to battle pass and a skin container. Apart from this, every 10 levels an additional 1 million tank coins will be added to the fund by the developers. You will find the following special offers in the shop. 
purchasing which will add 10 coins to the fund. Fans Bundle, Strong Player and Fan Zone. They will increase the tanky fund by 1,000, 1,500 and 10,000 tank coins respectively. For your convenience, now on the tanky fund page you can immediately follow the matches of your favorite teams through the built-in player. Last time, you had to guess how many tanks would be destroyed by the overdrives. The correct answer is 3. Congratulations to the winners! And here is the next question. What a vlog this was. We're glad to have you all with us. Let's meet next week. Same time, same place. Bye.